Hello guys, in this video, I am going to tell you a new feature of the recently released uh, Visual Studio 2022. Actually, there is a .NET conference going on remotely in the United States and where you know ASP.NET Core 6 with .NET Core 6 or .NET 6 as they say, which has got a long term support for three years, it will, it, it will revolutionize the .NET core scenario. Now, what I want to say is this video is all about hot reloading. That is one of the hottest feature and the coolest feature, as you can say, with the Visual Studio 2022. Now, you can, before using .NET 6, let me tell you, you have to use, download and install Visual Studio 2022 from this link, which I will put up in the description of this video. And then once I have, I have already downloaded and installed the Visual Studio 2022 and here it, here it, how it looks. So this is, if you click on help, this will be about Microsoft Visual Studio and I'm going to show you the hot reload feature. Just hold on a bit and please go through the video and it's a very quick video and see this is Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2022 64 bit current version 17.0.0. All right. So I have created this ASP.NET Core um, web application, which is a razor page basically. So what this, there is a hot reload button over here. Now, this is the hot reload button. What happens is that, you know, uh, this program is directly, I have not modified it much actually. So what, this was the original program, which I have changed a little bit. So to make this index model, which derives from the page model for those who have uh, worked with the razor pages a little bit. So this on get method was there for me, but just the shell. So what I have created was a public um, property string message get set and I have initialized the message with the, uh, this string. I am using .NET 6 with hot reload and saw it working. Okay. And I could log this information because I am initializing logger through dependency injection. Now let's see it all in mo uh, motion, you know, it's the coolest and the hottest feature. So what I ha have done is in this uh, um, razor page for the index HTML, index.cshtml, um, I have actually just created a paragraph and I have taken this model at model.message. Okay. So message is that public property message, which we have seen. And what I have done is that, you know, how I am going to show you the hot reload is that I'm going to change. So all I have to do is actually run it again, start without debugging. Okay. So let me start it without debugging. Now, I will bring these two side by side before and after. Okay. Right. Let me make it more space. Let's see it action once more. Okay. Now, let me press this hot reload. I have already saved this file. Okay. Let us save it again. Just in case. Hot reload. See. Now, this hot reload is in action. I never had to build it, just saved it with control S, never had to compile it, never had to build it, never had to run it, but hot reload is in action. So isn't it great? So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.